morning everyone and welcome to the 115th canned workouts. I'm sorry about last week. Uh, technical failures and everything. I hope people are going to be filing in soon. So what I think we should do is we'll go to the main screen. And we'll just uh, carry on as normal. Right, so yes again, sorry about last week. Uh, technical failures and uh, other things which, which went on uh, beyond my... Uh, ability to deal with it straight away, so I had to wait for all the equipment. Hopefully it's all working now. I hope you can hear me. I hope everything's working fine. I hope you've had a good week, actually. So, Bank Holiday Monday in the UK. Nice. Right, so today we've got the power of six, or basically let's hope this will work stream. What we're going to do is we're going to do repetitions, so there's no clocks, there's no clock down, sorry, down there. I haven't got the camera on at the moment, I've turned it off just for ease. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the equipment. There is quite a lot, especially of alternatives. That side, sorry. Don't know why I keep going to that side. So we're going to go through. I've got dumbbells. So these are required. I've also got some slightly heavier dumbbells, just in case. And also an optional one of a barbell or a single weight. Now, the single weight, I'm gonna expect I'm gonna show you how to use this one. Okay, so you got a bag and I've got some weights. So basically you could use flour, stick it in, close it up, And, as long as you don't overload it, you've got a good single weight that you can grab hold with the straps, with the top, even bunch it up, hands underneath. It's really good for a single weight. That's an optional one. Band. Right, so this is a necessity for today. Uh, the one which we're going to use with this is going to be a circular band. So we're going to be putting a knot into it. So tie it over, round, and pull through. Or if you've got the dyno bands, you can use those instead. But if you want to use these this band for other exercises, you will have to undo it or redo it or have different bands. So you already have one tied up, so I'm gonna allow you to actually uh, sort that out. What we're going to do is we're going to go through all the exercises first and then we're going to go through the actual exercise program as we're going because it's going to be minimal rests. Right, so I'm going to, I'm going to undo this because I'm going to, need to show you. So we've got other one weight. So a bottle of water, that's 1.5 kilos. And that's 2.3 kilos, so that's another weight. So you could use those. Got some mats and anything else I need. I don't think, oh, a chair, optional chair. For the glute kickback, if you want a chair, then you've got one. You can use that. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through the exercises uh, and we'll use that as a little bit of a warm up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of a warm up now, I think. So what we're gonna do is to get into a large, uh, large lunge. So this is going to be one of the uh, exercises almost. So we're going to go into from one side to the next. So we're just warming up those hips and those thighs. So get your feet facing 45 degree angles and get your knees following your toes. So we're just nice and easy going over, feeling the, trying to stay upright. Tummy nice and tight. If you needed the toilet doing that, you would end up going. Excellent, good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do another exercise. What we're going to do is we're going to put our hands behind our heads, stand up nice and tall, and we're just going to go out and back, out and back. So try to keep those shoulder blades back, so you're nice on one plane. That's it, good. Just do another one after this. Last one. 
nice and good. Back to that large, nice, nice large stance. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it together. So you go if you go that way, the entire left goes down, comes up, right, up, left, up. Try and get it nice in one motion. You might have to do as I do. My hands are actually moving a little bit faster, but it's just getting those shoulders going. I hope you can't hear the footsteps upstairs with probably everyone moving around. That's it, good. Right, we're gonna stand up, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our hands in front, and we're gonna bring our shoulders back and forward, back and forward. I'm gonna do two more, one more, last one. There we go, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out, down, up, down, up. That's it. Really work those joints. Brilliant, right, okay, I think what we'll do is we'll, that will warm us up and what we'll do is we're just going to go over the exercises. So goblet squat. I'm going to show you the one first with uh, dumbbells. Get a pair of dumbbells, push them together, uh, feet shoulder width apart, knees over the toes, hips going back. Try slot into the middle, especially if your knees go inwards, that's a lot easier. If you have, if you have trouble, you can go outwards or just go down and try and touch the knees and back up again. If you have one dumbbell, if it's a heavy dumbbell, you can cup it, which I find a lot easier with getting the elbows down. But I'm going to show you that with the one weight. So grabbing hold of it, the one weight, see my elbows are really close together now. We'll go down, slot it in and back up again. Push with the glutes as you go up. Push. Doesn't matter how far you go down. If you have problems going down, use a chair. You've got the weight. So I'm going to sit on it first. Make sure the heels are underneath the knees. You push up and down. So you're holding that weight nice and stable. Try to keep your back nice and straight as well. Always looking forward. the goblet squat, that's the first one. So we're going to do 12 of those, and then we're going to do the shoulder press. We'll start showing you with the uh, barbell. Now you have an easy curl bell, bell, barbell. So sh uh, feet shoulder width apart, looking forward, clean it up, and what you're going to do is go press up and down. You might need to move your head back slightly, but with this one I don't have to because my face slots in quite nicely. Press up, try not to lean back or lean forward. Keep that tummy tight all the whole times. That'll keep you uh, nice and stable. Up and down. Now going on to the one weight, and my barbell's moving. You can grab hold of it and keep it in front of you. Elbows together, press up and down. Press up and down. So that's the one weight version. So if you don't have a barbell, you can use a one weight, but you will find that you'll want to uh, bend over ever so slightly. So you've got to try and keep yourself nicely back, look forward at all times. So you're always looking at your eye height. You're not bending over. And try not to look like that either. Because you're not still, if you bend over and you're looking at eye height, you actually go lower. So if you know where your eye height is, you know that if you're looking a, bit, a little bit lower, that you are actually bending by accident. The other version is dumbbells. And what we're going to do is do both together. So elbows slightly in front of your shoulders, uh, weights at the ears, press up and down, up and down. If you want to do alternate, alternate if you've got a little bit of heavier dumbbells, you can go one, two, three, okay? You can even use a band, but I think we're actually slowing down quite a lot. So what we'll do is we'll go on to the next exercise, which is the curtsy squat. So we're not going to use any weight still. Look forward. I tend to like to put my hands on my hips or on my thigh, which I'm going on. So what I'm going to do is one leg's going to go backwards onto my toes. Looking forward, down. Really feel that uh, tightness in the glutes. Press up, swap sides. We're going to call that 
So we're going to go one, two. So we're only going to do 12 of those, so six on either side. This, this one is new to my classes. I'll show you again with the barbell. But this one, I'm going to grab hold in the middle. A lot of people grab hold of barbells there and they do the upright row, but once you get to there, you get a bit stuck because you can't really get it up further. So what you do is really push your shoulder blades up and out and back and it can damage the shoulders. So I tend to grab hold very loosely in the middle and I pull up towards the chin. So you can see my elbows are in front of my body. If I have my hands further away, I can't get my elbows forward, so I put my elbows back instead, and that actually hurt my shoulder. So try and keep your elbows in front of your shoulders, but I would not recommend using a barbell, especially heavy barbells, for right rows, because I think that a lot of people not abuse it, but misuse it. You could always use a band. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our thumbs facing downwards, so facing into it, step into it, and what you do is you step nice, nicely tight and forward, and you're going to pull up and down. Let's see again, elbows are in front of the shoulders, and we're pulling up and down. Nice and easy, so you're doing like a little shrug. That's quite simple for that one. Dumbbells are even easier, well, unfortunately with my tennis elbow it does hurt. So dumbbells in front, you pull up and try and pull them up to your shoulders but keeping that elbow in front of your shoulder, uh, shoulders itself. So you're not going backwards, so you're not rowing backwards. That's a different motion. So that's the right row, we're going to do 12 of those. Side lunges, quite easy. We're just going to go off to one side and try and get the weight over the bent leg. Up, we're going to do six either side and then swap over. If you have bad knees and you find that a bit difficult, you can always lunge back instead, sideways. So you're always facing over like one foot, so all the weight's going down instead of going into your knee. It's quite easy, nicely upright. Bicep curls. Again, I'll start again with the, with the barbell. So you're going to stand nice, nicely tight, hands facing forward, palms facing forward. These are great for my wrist because with a straight bar I end up hurting my wrist because I've got a bad wrist on this side because I've got a plate in it. I can't twist it fully flat so if I do a bicep curl it hurts. So a slight little angle I find works very good. Tummy tight, look forward, not leaning back, definitely not leaning forward, weight on the thighs, up, elbows nice and tight, slowly down, up, Slowly down. Really feel that contraction as you come up and you go down. Again, we can go to the one weight where you can actually grab hold in front. So it's right down to your knees, bring up and down again. The one problem with this is it will smack your forearms. But you can deal with that. You can even grab hold of it at the bottom go down and then up, down then up. Okay, try not to dig your elbows really into your side because they should really just be just slightly underneath your shoulder joint. Again, dumbbells down by the side. What you're going to do is rotate up with both of them at the same time. So you're going to go up and down, up and down. You notice I'm not swinging, I'm not going like that because so that is using momentum, nice and easy, up and down. If you use a momentum, they tend to be because one, you're not used to the uh, situation, you're not, uh, two, you're not tightening your abdominals, and three, the weight's maybe too heavy. Right, banded glute, uh, glute kickback. So, with this one, oh sorry, with the, uh, Bicep curls as well, you always use the band, but this would be more of a hammer curl. So working more on the peak contraction, so that the lump is what you work on when you actually bend your arm. 
that's that's the hammer curl. So that's using the uh, the brachialis. Now the glute kit bag. So what you'll need to do is either put a knot in that to create a circle, or use these diner bands, or you don't need to use them at all if you don't want to. Step into them. The further down the leg they are, the harder it's going to be. So we're standing forward, try and be as upright as possible, and kick back. And kick back. We could do one side at once, so we can do six on either side. Play six on the other side. I find that a lot easier, but you've got to be careful not to use momentum. So, next one. Overhead tricep extensions. I will first show you with the band, because it's easier. You'll have to undo this if you've already got a knot or if you've got a spare one. So put it underneath the back of the heel, make sure that the, the, the full weight is on that heel. Grab hold with both hands, up over the shoulders, elbows in the air, hands behind the back of the head. You've got to press up and together. Up, together. Be careful with this one, you don't want to be leaning backwards. So you need it touching, so I can turn that way slightly, you need to be touching your bottom, your shoulders and the back of your hands on the back of your head. When you go up, you move it slightly away, but then when you actually start, it should actually be pushing back on your bottom and then your shoulders. If you're leaning back, it won't be on your bottom. So suit that bottom out a little bit. Don't stick it out too much, otherwise you can feel it really pull over the tight of your glutes. Right, so I'll go now to the dumbbells. So these ones you can press together, push up above your head, down behind, try and keep those elbows nicely up. Try not to flare them out, otherwise you will damage your shoulders. Press up and back. Yes, that was my arm clicking. I'm actually on antibiotics at the moment, which is weakening the tendons, so I've got to be careful about lifting weights. Unfortunately, some antibiotics do do that, and I've got to be very careful I don't dislocate the joint. So, dum uh, dumbbells done. <coughs> I'm now going to show you a way of doing it with the barbell, but one with uh, this U shape, or what they call a T bar, which you can grab hold with the hands in a horizontal position, press up, go behind, and press back up above you. You can see I'm, I'm not swinging, I'm nicely controlling it. Back down, into the finished position. So that's the overhead extension. Now we're going to get the mats out for the last two. So we're going to do rainbows. What I'll do is I will show you the core exercises afterwards so we don't get too lost. So we're going to go down, we're going to go down to the rainbow position. So the hands underneath our shoulders, knees underneath our hi uh, hips, one leg out at 45 degree angle. So that one's sticking out, I'm sticking my toe on the floor, you might not be able to see the toe. What we're going to do is we're going to bring our straight leg up, try and keep our hips as still as possible and definitely keep our shoulders hip as uh, still as possible. So one forward, one back, that's one. Try and paint it as much as you can. Two, three, and then we'll swap over the other side for, for another, another six. So that's six on either side. Then what we're going to do, we're going to do quadruped. So we're going to stay down in the, that's what it's called, the uh, quadruped position. And we're going to go hand out and down. Swap hands, so it's alternate hand and alternate leg. Just like that. We're going to do 12. Is it 12? 12 each side, so it's basically 24. Okay, so it's quite an easy one, it's a nice back exercise as well, and a bit of a shoulder one. So, those are the main 10. You can do four sets, depending on how fast you go through it. But, speed isn't all. It's all about reducing the rest times to get your cardio up, to be able to do weights as well at the same time but you might find that four times is, is a, good, a good time for you because it might go really quickly. Now, doing this 
Going along with me now, it's been warming up. But we're going to do a little bit more of a warm up just now, just to actually get it going. Okay, I've been talking a lot. I'm going to some water. So let's just march on the spot. Just get re warm up a little bit. You'll have to do this sometimes at, uh, at the gym or whatever when you. Standing around talking, if you, if you rest for a while, re-warming up is a really good idea. Okay, I'm ready for starting, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to now tell me in the future to start this session. So, start this session, okay? So right, so we're going to do goblet squats. So I'm going to use these four kilos, well, eight kilos in total. And we're going to go for 12, we're going to try and go through as, as fast as possible but safely. I will give you a little bit of time for uh, integrate, uh, the integrating between one uh, exercise to the other. And uh, let's go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12. Excellent. Right, this next one, I'm going to go to the barbell. You can go to whichever one you want. So pick whichever weapon you've chosen. And let's get ready. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Brilliant, right, courtesy squat. <coughs> Get your weights down, nice and easy. Give you a little bit of time, a few seconds. Let's go into courtesy squat. Leg back, one, two, keep looking forward. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Brilliant. Right. Pick your weapon again for upright rows. I'm going to use for the first time. I'm going to use the barbell. So I'm going to deadlift it up. Grab hold of it in the centre. In three, two, one, and one. Two. Keep those elbows forward. Three, four, nice and upright. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Doing well, that's it. Good side lunges. I'm going to go to lunge to the side. I'm one. Two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. I'm going to swap now. Seven, eight, nine. Nice straight leg. Ten. Look forward. Eleven. Twelve. Right, oh, I almost thought he said burpees then. Right, bicep curls, so choose whatever you want. Band, dumbbells, one weight. I'm going to use the barbell for the first set. So hands forward, so working on those biceps. Up and down. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, still no swinging, see? Ten, eleven, twelve. Excellent, right, glute kick back. If you find that re tying and tying your band if you've only got one, just do it without a band. You don't need it. But you will find that your leg will go a little bit further, you might actually have a hip rotation. Try and stop that. So I'm going to keep my band down by my heel, down by my ankles. 
put us in this chair a little lower, so I'm going to have a little bit of a bend. And let's go, so we'll go six and side. One, two, three, four, five, six. What size? One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Let's come out. Straight into tricep overhead extensions, I think it is. Yes, it is. Might actually get these right instead of actually missing one. Again, I'm going to go to the uh, to the, bi uh, to the barbell. I'll do the other ones in the other sections. Okay, up above the head. So get that band up. We we'll get those dumbbells up, down, and press. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that weight's actually moving out, so it's actually started tipping over ever so slightly. <laughs> right, so we've got we've got on the mats now. Nice and easy. Let's get those rainbows going. I will have to spin round, otherwise I'll end up kicking this. So we're going to do six on each side. Are you ready? And pay that rainbow. One, try and look forward. Two, no pain in the back. Three, four, five, six. Change sides. So I'm doing the pink side now. One, two, three, four. Five, six, excellent quadrupeds. Since I'm actually in this direction, I'll stay in this direction. So it's out, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice straight line. Eight. Did I say that? I can't remember where. I'm sure that's eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, four more, 21, 22, 23, 24. Excellent, water break now. We're not gonna have a huge rest, just enough to actually get your heart rate down slightly, but not cool you down too much. So what I recommend is a few drinks of this, and then what you do is you go back to the workout. We're only going to do this three sets. I'm not going to do four sets now, but you can do if you when you replay it. Actually, just, sorry, just checking what people have been saying. Right, not so bad, good. Right, hope you're all enjoying it. I know I am. Right, so shall we get back to the goblet squats? So I'm gonna use the one weight actually. So for this, this uh, allotment, I'm now gonna use the one weight as much as possible. Are you ready? So remember, shoulder width apart, hips back. And down and push, one, down and push, Two, push, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Excellent. Right, choose your poison. I'm going to stay, stick with this. Sorry, my throat's going now. <clears throat> You ready? And, oh sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If you want to really improve your chest, just a quick hint for this one, dumbbells, press them together really tightly. 
and then press up and above your head. Spit with your elbows really far in front, you'll really work the top of that chest. It's a cracker of an exercise. Right, courtesy squats. You can use a weight with this as well, so it's almost like the, uh, the goblet squat. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. <laughs> it's alright. Some people have missed it because probably because it's back only Monday. Well man, I'll do it later. I don't mind. Right, so upright rows, I'm gonna use the one weight again. So I'm actually I like my hands in the middle for the upright row because you can't get your elbows on line with your shoulders, so you can't damage them as much. So you ready? Is it the right one? Yep. On a right row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You could do all these with, uh, with, with weights. Like the side lunges we're going to do now. I'm going to do it with a weight. So we're going to do, I'm going to bring it up into goblet squats uh, position and we're going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and swap sides. One, two, three, four, five, Six. I think if someone misses the start of the stream, you can start the stream, especially on Facebook, right at the beginning. So you're not watching live, but it's semi-live. Right, so bicep curls. So I'm gonna use this again. But this time, I'm gonna do it single-handed. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 12 on either side. So if you do 12, you get a little bit of extra rest at the end. Let's go. One, two, try not to wobble, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you can swap sides then. One, two, or have a rest. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Right, for this next one, I'm going to show you an alternate version you can do. It's a little bit more, let's say, pain in the backside. What you can do is cross over your band, put it on the floor where you can step, step with one foot on it, put the other foot through, and then you can go one, two, three four, five, six, there you go. You catch up whilst I change over. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then all you have to do is just kick it off. Right, next one. So we've got tricep overhead extensions. I'm gonna use the one weight again. I think it's only about eight kilos this. So again, above your head, try not to clunk yourself on, especially with this one weight. You will feel it hitting your shoulders, so try not to use anything sharp. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, I almost up to 10 then. 12, I was too busy counting and not, not bothered actually listening to what I was saying. Right, so rainbows. Going through these quite quickly. As you can see, that's why I say you can do it four times if you want. 
If you've got the time. If you don't have the time, leave it. Right. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. <coughs> eight. Nine. Ten. Oh. Do twelve. Sorry. Twelve. Sorry, we're going to do twelve on the other side. Sorry about that. I'm out again. I wasn't thinking for some reason. My brain was just thinking about what we're doing next. Oops. One. Two. Three. We've got time. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Brilliant. Quadrupeds. Let's only do 12 of these, so I so can, well, no, we'll do 24, we'll do 24. Let's go, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, nicely glide out, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, Seventeen, can you feel any bottom yet? Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Have a quick rest, water break, then we'll get back at it again. I think this time what I'll do is I'll use a combination of band and dumbbells. <coughs> oh, I've got water all down my front. Sorry about that. I'm sure you probably can't see it in the camera anyway. It's just drool really. Right. How are you feeling? Get that heart rate down slightly. So you're not panting, you're not high blood pressure isn't your blood pressure isn't going up because you're getting too tired. Especially in this heat, it's actually a very cl uh, close day. I've actually got a barometer on the window now. So we're at 22 degrees. Nice. Right, let's go. Goblet squats. Are you ready? Feet slightly, slightly wider than the shoulder width. Let's go. One, push. Two, push with those glutes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Excellent, good. Right, I'm going to do the shoulder press with the dumbbells. I think I might actually do a combination actually. I'm going to do six pressing together and then six out to the side but not out remember elbows aren't on line with the shoulders slightly in front keep those shoulders for another day I'm going to do them press together first and let's go one two three four five six one two three four five Six. If you want a quick rest, I'll show you. You can actually go one, two, and do it that way instead. Or you can basically it's, you can go out, in, up, out, in, up. That's another good one. Very similar to a normal press. Right. So we've got curse squats. I'm going to do it with the weight <coughs> this time. I'm going to hold the weights up nicely into the goblet squat, goblet squat position and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12. Brilliant, right, I'm gonna keep with the dumbbells for the upright rows. Look for the uh, look for the discomfort on my arm because it will hurt my tennis elbow. Are you ready? Keep your shoulder blades back and down. Elbows in front of your shoulders. And go. One, two, three, four. Try not to rock forward. Five, six, seven. Try not to twist your arms up as well. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. What you're trying to do is you're trying to lead with the elbows so your arms are just floppy. Right, side lunges. I'm going to stick with the dumbbells. So if you do do weight on this, it will put extra pressure on your knee, especially if you're going lunging outwards. So let's go. And one. Two. Three. Try and push back with your toe. Four. Five. Six. Arms up tight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent bicep curls. Get that breather. Change that equipment over if you need to. I'm going to do dumbbells version and let's go. One and down. Two. Not rocking. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to do the glute kickback this time without a band. Let's go. So we've got one, two, three. I'm not going that far up. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Brilliant. Really work the underneath those glutes. And we've got the other head tricep extension. Right, I'm going to use dumbbells again for this. Move that completely out of the way. Sorry for the noise. I have the brain. I have noisy stuff done. Right, let's press those dumbbells together, above the head, straight torso, tummy tight, down, keep those elbows up and nice and straight. One, two, don't flare them out, like that, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Bring them down, nice and easy. Right, I think that's everything so far. That's yep, back to rainbows. Thank you for reminding me. Only six aside. <clears throat> Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. One foot out, and let's play that rainbow. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Spin round. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Brilliant. Right quadrupeds. Twenty-four. One. Swap sides. Two. Swap. Three. Swap. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Excellent, good, have that water. What I'll do is I'll have a quick drink and then I'll show you the next three exercises we'll do two sets of. <coughs> Wrong hole! <laughs> right, 
right, again, it's a power of six. It's divided by six, you can eight each of these exercises. Right, so I'm going to tuck the back. <coughs> Sorry, I told you wrong roll. <coughs> Into my leggings, so it doesn't ride up. So I'm going to do 12 hinge hips. Hip hinges. <laughs> okay, I did do something wrong. If you have problems with this, just go to reverse crunch. So reverse crunch, your hands down to the side, feet slightly off the floor, bring your knees up, and get that bottom to slide off the floor, and legs back. You do 12 of those. A hip, hip, hip hinge, you right to say up, with your legs are up, what you're going to do is push up and down. Up and down. Really contract those abdominals and push into the ground with your hands. If you want a harder version, hands across your chest, push up that way. You do 12 of those. Doesn't matter if you bend your legs slightly, but it's better if you keep them straighter. It makes it a lot more difficult exercise, you can't use momentum. But when you do it, you are getting a little bit of momentum because you're rolling up and then pushing. So that's what the idea is, to roll and push. If you have problems with that, remember, go back to the reverse crunch. If you have problems with that one, bring your feet down after each one. So feet down there, reverse crunch up. Down, reverse crunch up. If you want to transition, transit into a hip hinge, if you actually get better at it, I'm sure you will, you can go from a reverse crunch into a hip hinge. So you go nicely up. I love reverse crunch to a hip hinge. Wonderful uh, core workout. Right, then we're going to go to penguin crunches. Some people call them heel taps. So feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Move them down a bit so then you can't exactly get them easily with your hands. But your hands are going to be at 45 degree angle to your body. And you're going to bring your shoulders off the floor. But you're going to look straight at the ceiling. And you're going to tap one heel. Okay, that's one, two, three, four. Tap each heel. Okay, so you're like a penguin sliding backwards on ice. If you find it too easy, either move those legs a little bit further apart or away from you. Because the further they are away, the more you have to actually move your, uh, your core, like you've got a broom pole stuck in your stomach and you're trying to wiggle out of it. Okay, a bit macabre, sorry, but it's a good illustration. The next one, we're going to do 12 twisting back raises. So we're going to get on the floor, on the front, we're going to put our feet on the ground, toes facing each other, so sp sp split, uh, spread your heels slightly. What we're going to do is we're going to put our hands above our ears. What we're going to do is we're going to roll up on one elbow or towards one elbow. So I tend to keep one hand on the floor and I just twist and get one hand up. So that's one, two, three. So you're basically slightly assisting yourself and you're actually working your back, especially the QL, the quadratus laburnum, which is just at the side there. So really good exercise to do. You don't have to go that far to actually make it effective. So are we ready to do two of these? And what we're going to do is try and move through them all without a rest. Okay? Are you ready? I know you are. So we're going to do 12, 24 and 24. <coughs> Always 24, right? Okay. <coughs> all right, let's get going then. Hip hinges, 12 off. And one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I've got some dust on my shoe on my eye. <laughs> right, penguin crunch. You ready? Up. Touch that heel and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Brilliant, how do you feel now? A little bit tired I hop on there. Right, let's pancake over, swap over onto the front. <coughs> 24 of these. You ready? And one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Excellent. If you've got us to a process or a CP, you be careful that last one, don't go too far. Just go as far as you can, even if you roll just a slight bit, it's going to work that muscle to actually stabilise that spine. Right, back to the hinge hips. Hip hinges. Right. Yeah, you know I'm going to get it wrong all the time, aren't I? Right, feet up. Let's go for that torture. One. Two. Three. Make sure you come down at all times. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Brilliant. Right. Give it a few seconds. That's enough. Right. Twenty-four pending pivot crunches. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 24. Brilliant. Right, flip over. The last exercise. Then we'll do the cool down. Ready? Are you set? Let's go. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Excellent. Right. Try and get your breath back. That's what hit me in the eye. Ow. How do you feel after that? Hopefully, good. <coughs> right, let's just walk a little bit. Stretch those abdominals slightly, just get the blood flowing back into them. I'm going to do the one stretch. So, standing, feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent but not locked out. Sorry, straight but not locked out, slight bend in them. We're going to go over, touch our toes. Feeling tight. Right, what we're going to do is we lift one foot up, stretch that calf. Hand underneath the, the sole, shut clean shoes. Swap feet, raise the toe up. Two, one, back to the front up. First up. Three, two, one, second to up. Down, okay. Hands up to your ears or towards your ears. What we're going to do is we're going to kick out one hip to one side. We're going to sort of bend one leg out the hip and then twist the steering wheel in the same direction. So really pulling on the, that inside leg and the opposite oblique. Three, two, one, turn that chicane, go around the other side, kick it out, make sure that knee isn't going over the front of the toe or it's not going in a different direction. So you might need to move your heel, so your toes slightly pivoting it on your heel to get them in the same direction. And back. We're going to slowly roll our spine up. One vertebrae at a time. Shoulders will go back. As we stand up, then what we're going to do is we're going to roll it back down again, looking down one leg. One arm will go lower than the other, it doesn't matter. Try and reach down that leg. 
far as you can. And back up. Nice and slow to this one, please. Go down the other side. So we're really stretching the back in different ways. You might not be used to this. And back up again. So just be careful. You might feel a bit of cramp from there. If you do, take a breath, stand up. Okay, we're in the right position now. Hands go up, hands interlaced. Both us push up. Really push forward. I like to push my head forward. I'm not pushing it down, pushing it forward. I'm pushing my arms back. Because then you'll actually stretch the back of your neck as well. We'll lean over now. Lean over to the other side. Try not to lean forward or back. And back to the top. Really rich stretch that ceiling. That's good. And release and thank you very much all for coming i hope you really enjoyed the exercise session i did it's a bit of a different one i know but i like to actually put some of these new ones in well they're not new to everyone but they're new to us so i will see everyone hopefully god willing on wednesday for step up uh, i'm glad the actual system's working i hope you all have a good uh, uk bank holiday for all the other people which are working i'm sorry but have a nice day anyway I'll take care and see you all later. It's coming up very soon to my North, uh, Great North Swim, uh, one mile in Windermere. I, I'm working really, really hard towards it, especially it's harder now with all the green algae and all the uh, bodies of water. We have to find alternate salt sources. So please help and give me a little bit of incentive by donating to this uh, on the just giving uh, link at the bottom of the page the more you actually donate the more it'll actually uh, get me going if you've already donated or don't want to donate please consider sharing that is actually that works just as well well thank you all for coming i'll see you all later take care for now